Okay, I'm going to see if this works. Uh, I'm filming at night. I've got a fire going. And uh, I've been experimenting with some uh, buffalo horn. I don't know if you can see. This is a, a buffalo horn that's been sliced in half lengthwise. And I've been trying to use it for napping, and uh, I even made an arrowhead from it, believe it or not. Now, it's not as solid as bone. It's not as rigid as bone. It's pretty flexible. But it does have a nice sharp point on it. There's a couple notches that I put in uh, with a piece of flint just scraped in the notches. Uh, the rest of it is shaped with my sander and uh, I just scraped off the uh, saw marks with my knife and uh, burnished it with some leather. It actually works pretty good. Buffalo horn is easy to, uh, to shape. And I just rough shape it with a 40 grit sandpaper. And if you scrape it with your knife, it should... It removes all the tool marks. And then you can polish it. But I don't know how effective these will be. I think they would work, but... It looks a bit too flexible, I think. And uh, when I was using it for napping, I cut a piece it seems to bend a lot. It's quite flexible. And uh, it wears down very quickly. So as I was napping with it, I noticed it, it works well on heat treated stone. Uh, and it doesn't crush the edge, but it's very spongy, very rubbery. It doesn't compare at all to, uh, to antler. I would say antler is about twice as hard as the buffalo horn. But I wanted to experiment with it because it was available to the Plains Indians for thousands of years and I, I figured maybe they would use this for flint napping. I do have a larger piece that I uh, use for indirect percussion and it did not work very well at all. Uh, it absorbed a lot of shock. It uh, broke up on the tip it grabs very well, but there's not enough hardness in it to remove a large flake. It will remove uh, sh uh, shallow flakes, but nothing major. It was a good experiment. I'm glad I got to work with the buffalo horn. It's very workable. Um, I'll probably do another video where I'm working with stone tools with the uh, buffalo horn. But as you can see, it's very easy to uh, remove shavings from it. I sand it with very rough 40 grit sandpaper to get off the, uh, the rough texture from the original horn. And there's hairs that seem to be it seems to be made of a of hair. Anyway, just wanted to show that real quick. Neighbor's running, uh, running his saw again.